permission, sir? May I remove the mask? The Philippine Coast Guard is honored to name one of its largest assets to date, the multi-role response vessel, MRRV-9701, after Teresa Magbanwa. A Visayan warrior, a shero, Teresa Magbanwa, as earlier told by our commandant, also known as Nay Isa, is an Ilongo war veteran. She was born on 08 October, uh, on October 13, 1868, in Pototan, Iloilo, where she was a teacher and a disciplinarian who turned into a warrior. When she met and eventually married Alejandro Balderas, Teresa abandoned teaching and devoted her life as a housewife and pursued her passion in horse riding and markmanship. Despite of her husband's objection, Teresa joined the Katipunan in 1898, where she led an army of men to victories amid numerous battles, allowing her to earn the title Visayan John of Art as the only Filipina who led tro troops in the Visayas during the Philippine Revolution. After almost 50 years of being one of the dynamic commanders of the Katipunan, Teresa died in August 1947 at the age of 78. Teresa Magbanwa, despite the prevailing gender roles, responded to the call to fight for liberty with dedication to the cause of patriotism. And we are fortunate today to have in attendance as our ship sponsor coming all the way from Cagayan de Oro City, the descendant of Teresa Magbanwa, Mrs. Angeles Magbanwa Alaba. Please stand, ma'am, to be recognized. Thank you, ma'am. May the men and women of MRRV 9701 pursue and carry with them the bravery of Teresa Magbanwa in all of their voyages. Thank you for allowing the Philippine Coast Guard to serve our country through MRRV 9701, proudly bearing the name of Teresa Magbanwa.